Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Today, we are doing a little bit of a different video. I want to gain some traction on a new game that is coming out called Unearthing Invasions. It's being developed by Aquarius Max and Shadowed Souls Studios. A lot of you may know Submerged in the ATN Discord. Him and his studio are developing and working on this game. I have gained access to an early build, and so I'm very excited to show it off and show some gameplay and, and just show you guys what the game's all about. Uh, the game is supposed to be releasing on Friday for early access, so definitely go check it out. Wishlist it on Steam, and um, I, it's, it's a lot of fun from what I've played already. Uh, but yeah, let's jump right into the game. This is the main menu. As you can tell, there's a quit options in the start. We're going to go ahead and hit start, and we're going to do the first tutorial here. So this is a 3D tower defense game set in space. Very pretty, pretty simple to play. Uh, not too crazy. I had to get a little bit of a tutorial from Submerge himself <laughs> before I got into the video because I wanted to know how to play before I got in. Um, but this is going to be a blind playthrough. So I've only played like a little bit of tutorial first. And so we're going to be doing it over again. But so basically the simple concept of the game is it's a tower defense game. So if you've never played a tower defense game, basically what's going to happen is our enemies are going to be flowing in from this side and you're going to gain money or funds or energy. Um, sorry, funds to buy turrets and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a turret right here. And so when you place a turret down, you'll notice a blue ring that's spinning around my icon. Well, that is the range that your turret can actually hit the enemies. So because this turret has a lower range, I'm going to place it over here because the enemies are going to be passing this way. Now, if I were to buy something bigger like this sniper range here, this would shoot from really far. So I could place it over here in this distance. So we need a little bit of a strategy. So we're just going to buy the regular blast cannon. We're going to place it on the first one here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start the game. So watch this. Enemies are going to start flowing in from here. The turret's going to do its work and start shooting the UFOs coming in. And as they shoot the UFOs, we're actually going to gain funds. And then we can use those funds to buy and um, more turrets to place on the platforms here. And you want to have as much energy as possible because when you run out of energy, let's say you run out of energy, you hit zero, you lose the game automatically. So, and then if you notice too here in the top right, as I'm gaining funds, I'm also gaining scraps and you can actually use scraps to upgrade your uh, turrets and all that that have already been placed. So we did gain enough to, so we're going to unlock this big sniper turret here. We're going to place it here in the distance. And you can see this one has a way bigger range than the other one. So if we actually click on it, we can see the range is way massive. So the turret can shoot in this circle right here, like all around. The other turret, unfortunately, can only shoot really little. So we want to put it closer to where the enemies are going to be spawning. Um, but we did gain enough to buy another turret. So we're going to place one more here. And we are getting scraps. So we can either repair this turret with 65 scraps, or we can upgrade it with 325 funds of like dollars essentially, or we can sell it for 72. So we don't, we don't definitely don't want to sell it, but we have gained more funds. So we're going to buy another sniper. We're going to place him over here just for backup. Just in case any of these enemies decide to get through. We're currently on wave two out of three. Oh, there we go. It looks like we just won. Oh, okay. We got some more enemies coming in. So this is a lot of fun. This is awesome. I, I think they're doing a great job with this game. I love the detailed environments. I like the setting that it's all set in space. Uh, the graphics look really cool. You know, it's just a very simple tower defense game. And it's a lot of fun. So, so far we've gained a lot more fun. So we can actually place another turret or we're going to place another sniper turret because uh, we've kind of ran out of room over here. And it looks like we're doing really good so far. Oh, we can place another sniper turret over here. All right, awesome. You prevented the assault. We can move on to the next level. All right, so, so far we're doing good. So let's do the tutorial number two. You're doing great so far. Let's go through some new turrets now. All right, awesome. 
So the sentry rifle is a strong mid end wave turret. Great for taking out fast enemies in single groups. Ooh. So it's like kind of like a machine gun. The rapid fire turret is a great low cost turret to start out with. Great for tight corners and choke points. Do note that they have the least range of all the turrets and must be placed close. Okay. The enemies will be stronger this time around. Sturdy your turrets and good luck. Study your turrets and good luck. Try placing the two rapid fires first. Okay, so we want to place these guys. Also, once you completed a level for the first time, arrows will appear here where you can change the speed of the waves. Oh, nice. Okay. So it looks like because the enemies are going to be coming from over here and we got some, you know, corner choke points, we're definitely going to play the rapid fire turrets here. So we're going to place one here and we're going to place another one right here. And let's start the game and see how we do. Awesome. So we've unlocked more turrets. But let's see how these turrets perform here. Ah, they're like mini rapid machine guns. Awesome. So we're already gaining funds. I don't know how much funds you get per turret or per UFO that you kill. All right, let's see if we can unlock this. Um, let's place another rapid fire here just in case the UFOs get through. And then what we're gonna do is because the enemies are going to be getting stronger coming from over here. We're definitely going to want to place probably the sentry rifle, the little sniper thing going on. What's the range? 26, 18, 22, 45. Yeah, here's the sniper. Let's place one of them over here. Here we go. And actually, what we could do we could place it in the back here kind of get them coming in but our rapid turrets are doing work up here so they're barely even being touched this one's a little damaged so we can actually repair it but it's cost 215 so i think we'll oh we can also repair it with scraps so actually let's wait Ooh, okay they're getting a little stronger now so what we can do is let's place a sentry rifle right here as they're coming in we'll like blast them there we go. So far, so good. This one is taking a lot of damage, though, as you can see. We might have to repair that one soon before it breaks here on us. But let's click on it. And let's repair with scraps. There we go. So as you can tell, it got repaired. It went back up to the full bar of health with the green. And we're getting a lot of funds. So this is only wave three out of five coming up. So let's see how the enemies start to get crazier and we'll see what we need. We do got these choke points down, so that's cool. We got some snipers going on here in the back. We can definitely place another like shotgun looking turret up here, the sentry rifle. All right, we got wave four out of five. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, I don't know what that was, but that was really cool. Looks like kind of like a Blastendova thing. Look at that thing. One thing I wish you could do is you could click on the enemies and it tells you more about them, but maybe I'm just not noticing that and it's actually here. We're gonna place another sniper over here. And we're gonna place another. As they're coming in. Oh, we got the ground pretty covered now. Nothing's gonna be getting past us. Look at that, we're just covered. We got all the snipers over here. We got our big rifle sentry rifle dudes with high damage sitting up here in the front so they're oh this one's about to die though so we do got to be careful so let's repair it there we go Ooh, that one was taking a lot of damage here in the front i didn't realize that so the ufos do fire back which is really neat so we do got to be careful
Ooh, we did it. All right. So, tutorial two down. Let's go to the next. Let's hit up tutorial three. All right. The energy missile is great for groups, especially when nearby a frost cannon. The AOE blast radius is most useful. Do note that its energy blast is slow and cannot hit fast moving targets. Okay. Corrosive shot has high DPS damage, but low health and range. The frost cannon has a slowing effect on enemies and has low DPS damage, but high health. Okay. Corrosive shot and frost cannon are super powerful, but to be careful, not to cross streams as they can cancel out the slow effect from each other. Okay. Try saving up for the big turrets if you can. If the enemies reach the command center, you lose some energy. If energy drops to zero percent, you will lose the round. Okay. So that's what happens if you drop energy. Enemies are approaching from here. Okay, so let's set up a little strategy. So let's set up our choke points here. And, um, let's set up a sniper here and let's get another turret going here. All right, let's start the game. So we got 10 waves this time. So let's see if we can save up for some of these big guns because they said it's good for corrosive shot. Okay. So far, it's looking good. We got the choke points covered here around the corner. Our snipe, and if they do get past here, we do got our sniper and our little turret cleaning up. So let's see if we can save some money this round. Let's put another one here, just in case. Oh, look at the bigger UFOs coming in. That thing has a lot of health now. So, so far, wave two, we're doing good. So far, we got 600. So I'm gonna see if we can save up for this thousand. That thing looks awesome. Low damage has a freeze effect, so I'm assuming it freezes the enemies coming in to slow them down so you can shoot them more. Oh, we got more. We might actually have to place another turret here. What we can do let's place the slug shot over here just in case they do escape through our funds are going down a little bit so we're gonna have to save back up again but that's okay we're doing great we definitely want to cover our ground in the beginning first so they don't get through i can see this is gonna get crazy this is only wave three can you imagine having all these turrets firing it's gonna be fun Here we go. We're saving up. All right, we're getting a lot of funds going here. So we're almost to that thousand. I'm going to put that cannon right in the middle here, the slowing one. I want to see how that thing's going to perform. Oh, our turret's looking a little low here. Let's uh, use some scraps on it. There we go. We upgraded it. Or we didn't upgrade it, but we did repair it. So that's good. Oh, we bought the big one. Okay. So we got the freeze gun going here. But let's see how this thing performs. It does have low damage, but it does slow enemies down, so that's cool. Probably should have put it over here to slow the enemies coming in instead of in the middle here. That was kind of dumb, but that's okay. Oh, I want to check out this corrosive shot. Or, yeah, corrosive shot. Oh, that thing's 650, okay.
Uh, so we have a rapid fire here. Energy missiles. Let's put an energy missile down. This one's taking a beating here in the front. We're gonna repair it again, and this one too. There we go. This is only wave four, by the way. Here we go, wave five, they're coming in. We got a lot of them. Oh, they're firing back too. Oh, and they have like a little shield. Look at these dudes. They have like a little blue shield on them too. Oh, this is going to get crazy. Okay. We definitely need to make sure we're covering our ground here. That one's taking a beating. It's always this one right here in the front that takes the most damage, I noticed. I don't see how they were going to be getting through this. And I think we can upgrade, right? Ooh, this one's hurting again. So let's actually spend some funds to repair it. This one as well. This guy too. And we can... Oh, we can upgrade it for 325. Okay, wow, that's kind of expensive. So we do got to save up some funds if we're wanting to upgrade our cannons. All right, so far we're on wave six, so we're doing good. Look at that little thing. What do those guys do? Oh, they're just really fast. I'm excited to see like all the enemies pouring in through here to get to the other cannons here in the distance. All right, we're out of space here to drop stuff. We haven't really used our freeze one yet. Yeah, we got things on lockdown. But this is only wave six, so I don't know... Let's see how these higher waves, how it's going to get crazy. Oh, look at these guys. They got bigger shields now coming in. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, look at the slow beam. That's cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, now they're coming in. All right, so it's going to get a little crazy here now. Oh. Oh, don't reach. Nice. Okay. So far, we're doing good. All right, we're going to we're going to upgrade our turrets in the front here. There we go. Now we're now we're look at those guys. Those are popping off now. We upgraded them. And we can slowly start to upgrade our our uh, snipers here in the back too. And we actually this one needs a repair. So let's upgrade. Upgrade him. Nice. Then we got some good upgrades going now. I like upgrading the front more than I do the back because if the enemies get through the front, the back will clean up, even though they're not as powerful as the front. So I think that's better to have the upgraded in the front. Here we go. Look at these like neon light things going on. These things are cool looking. That thing has a shield. Look at that one has a shield, like a blast shield here. Oh, 
All right, final wave. Here we go. So what we should do is we should start up uh, upgrading if we can. Let's see if we can upgrade our big guy here. There we go. Look at that thing. I think it's massive. We're getting a lot of funds too. Ooh, they ain't getting past anything. Look at that. They can't even get past the beginning. Nice. All right, we did it. Woo. All right. All right, let's do 1-1. One, one. So far, we're doing good. All right, so that was the tutorial. So let's see. Okay, so their enemies are going to be coming in from over here. And here goes our main hub base. So we need to protect this here. So what we want to do is we want to cover these corners, right? So let's put some rapid fire cannons down. And cover our corner tightness here. And let's start the game. Let's see how we do. The music reminds me a lot of like Space Mountain from Disneyland. Oh no. We got to cover our other points here this is not good all right we're gonna put another guy down here just for cleanup Ooh, okay so it does get a little harder <laughs> so we got to be a little more careful with our strategy here Ooh, okay we got a lot of them coming in now Oh no! Whew, okay, good so far. We'll blast them with the energy missiles on the way in. Gotta keep covering our choke points here. We also need to get a sniper going. I need to save up for a sentry rifle. I haven't done that yet. But we'll probably put him over here. Oh, get him. We also need to upgrade. Oh, that dude's about to die. Let's repair him. Oh, he's not good either. Let's repair him as well. And we can probably repair him too. All right. I love the music. Oh gosh, they're really coming in now. Dang. Look at these guys, they're pouring in. This is fun. We do need to upgrade our turrets. Oh, this guy's taking a beating. We gotta be careful here. Ooh, let's upgrade him. Or let's repair him and actually let's upgrade these guys in the front because we got a lot of funds to spare right now so let's there we go we're definitely gonna need the more firepower it looks like we got a lot more giant ufos coming in oh get him no he hit finally dang they finally got one through. That's sad. <laughs> we were doing so good. All right, let's pair him, pair him. We're gonna upgrade our turrets coming here as well. Ooh, those goes are quick.
Get him! Oh, he got through. All right, we have 16 energy, so we're okay. I mean, we're still hanging in there. Ooh, okay. We do need to repair this dude, though. Don't get through! Ah, oh, he got through. Last wave. Nice! Sorry, we did it. Woo! <laughs> I got intense for a minute. Uh, I love the music, too. It's so cool. I need a soundtrack. All right, let's do level two one. Let's check it out. Okay, so enemies are going to be pouring in from over here. Wow, long, long ways. And they're going to be coming out through this way. Wow, far. Okay. So let's put. Um, let's put the smaller turrets here. All right, and let's see how that goes. Oh, there we go. We can zoom out more. Oh, and you can zoom in too. Cool. So we'll shoot them coming in. Oh, okay. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, he got through. Oh no. They're getting in through our ch choke points here. Okay, I see here. So we gotta be careful. These dudes are not doing that much damage and they're, look at, they're already dying. Definitely wanna get our choke points here. So let's put one right here. And we need to save up some scraps here. These look at this first turret's taking a beating. Okay. Oh gosh, that's about to die. Yep. Let's repair it. I'd rather just spend the money and repair it. These first guys, they do not do well. These guys are hurting. We need to upgrade them is what we need to do. We're not getting that much money this time around. All right, here we go. gonna die dang we're gonna spend some money and upgrade some of these guys plus we are not doing well look at this dude over here oh one got through that sucks But that guy, he's level two. What's this dude? Level one. Okay, we definitely need to upgrade this guy. Let's upgrade him. He's also level two. We need to get these choke points down. Oh, this guy's hurting. Let's repair him. Let's upgrade him. Let's repair him.
upgrade. All right, so far we're doing okay. We haven't even covered any of our other parts. Ah, uh, this is horrible. Um, that won't even reach. Let's see how we do here. Oh, look at these little like green floating dudes. These are cool looking. There's a ton of them. Um, let's put another one here. Let's upgrade. Is this level two? That's level two? Yeah. This is still level one. Let's upgrade him. Let's upgrade him. You need to be careful. Repair. Repair. Did they get through? I think some, a couple of them I think got through, unfortunately. Where we're hurting is down here. Like, we're having a hard time cleaning up. So what we should do, let's put another choke point here, or tight corner. Here we go. Ooh, this dude's taking a beating. Let's repair him. Repair him. Repair him. Let's upgrade. Upgrade. All right, those are all level two now, so we should be good over there for now. Those little green dudes, they uh, <laughs> they do some work coming in, those little enemy guys. Oh, please don't get through. Snipe them, nice, okay. We need to cover our bases down here. All right, here we go. We got some regular enemies. Ooh, that guy's hurting. Come on. Ooh. Can we repair? Okay. Let's just upgrade these dudes. Ooh, what are these things? Oh yeah, they're like floating smoke orbs or whatever. I don't know, those things are trippy looking. Hopefully are. All right, let's hold off for a second. Put one here. All right. Oh, look at those things. Those things remind me of uh, Star Fighters. TIE Fighters from Star Wars. Those things are cool. This is only wave 10. Funds are still lacking. That one's level three. These are the these are the dudes that hurt. These little green dudes hurt. 
And they take damage too, like. Look at them. All these dudes coming in. All right, that's level two. I need to upgrade him. Oh no, we need to repair. Upgrade him. He's level two, so we'll wait. Uh, he needs to be upgraded, so let's do that. Let's upgrade him. Okay, so far we're doing okay. I don't think we need to heal anybody right now. I think we're okay. They're coming in quick. This dude down here, he's getting pretty low. We may need to heal him. Um, let's just upgrade him. We have the funds. Why not? Okay, so level three seems to be the max upgrade. Okay. I can see this game, how crazy it could actually get if you're trying to sell things and keep things alive. Let's get in the action here a little bit. Check that out. All right, our turrets are cleaning up pretty good down there, so I'm not worried. This guy's hurting a lot. Oh, we gave him a shield. Oh, so you can give your turrets a shield. Okay. All right, wave 14. We got two more waves. This wave and then 15 and then should be done. Look at that like floating orb thing looking down there. I love the design of the level. Oh, you can sacrifice energy to give your turrets shield. Ah, cool. I was wondering what that was. Might as well. Coming to an end here. Oh no, we don't want to die. Let's just upgrade him. Oh, you have to be above 40 to upgrade or to use the shield. So you have to be 40% energy or above. Okay. All right, last wave, here we go. I think everything's upgraded, right? Oh, there we go. It, all this row is upgraded, so can't do anything there. Can upgrade here. That's upgraded, max. That one not. Okay, we're doing good. Here we go. Ooh, we got some big guys coming in. We might need to upgrade our sniper turret here. Oh gosh, this is not gonna be good. We should have invested a little more into the sniper turrets. Ooh, okay. We're still looking okay though. When they come down here, they kind of get demolished. That's good. Nice, we did it. Let's go. Awesome. All right. Well, guys, that is an early access look at unearthing invasions. Um, I just wanted to show off a little bit of the game because I don't want to spoil too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, the game's going to be dropping on Friday for early access. I don't know how much it's going to cost, uh, to be honest with you. So definitely look out for the game. If you could wishlist it on Steam, I'll put the link to the Steam store page 
in the comment section below and the description so definitely go support the game it's a lot of fun i would definitely pick this up myself and i probably will be and uh maybe do a couple of gameplay videos on it so i had a blast it's hard <laughs> trying to manage all your resources um the only thing i think would be really neat just some feedback on the game is i wish you could click on the enemies to kind of learn more about them uh and what they do but i guess you kind of just got to learn uh, as you go um, and maybe there'll be kind of like a diary section or something like that or a biography section where you can learn the different aliens and stuff like that uh, ships coming in so yeah guys go check out earthing invasions it's a lot of fun early access drops friday uh, thanks for watching the video i will catch you on the next one take care